At the South Carolina State House is, is in the midst of investigating how the state's top accountant made a $3.5 billion mistake over the last decade. But more than a dozen other lawmakers say they've already seen enough and now want to begin impeachment proceedings against Con Controller General Richard Ekstrom. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. A resolution filed today here at the State House calls for the House Judiciary Committee to begin an impeachment inquiry into Comptroller General Richard Ekstrom. So far, that resolution has more than a dozen sponsors coming from both parties, including the House Republican leader. You know, mistakes not even really the right word because everybody uh, makes mistakes. This is like an epic fail. Comptroller General Richard Ekstrom says that error his office made over a 10 year period led it to report in the state's official accounting document that South Carolina had three and a half billion dollars more in reserves than it actually had. While this error doesn't affect the state budget, this document is used by national rating agencies to determine South Carolina's credit rating. Ekstrom's held this job since 2003 and was just reelected this past November. I'm concerned about the timing. If you listen to his testimony, it seems that it's clear that he knew about the issue before the election. He kept it hidden um, until the election was over before he brought it to us, before he brought it to the public. That's very, very concerning. In a statement in response to the resolution, Ekstrom says he'll continue answering lawmakers questions and concerns, saying, quote, we will do what it takes to make sure they are as confident as we are about the work this office does for the taxpayers going forward. Our constituents deserve nothing less. Extra made the admission during a Senate budget hearing last month, and since then, a Senate panel has been investigating. We're upset because we don't know about, we didn't know about this, but what about the taxpayers and, and voters and, and people of South Carolina? It's held three hearings so far, and its chair says it'll likely hold at least two more next week before presenting its findings and recommendations. Until there's a full picture and an accounting of what occurred, why it occurred, it would be wrong to speculate over what the remedy ought to be. The state constitution gives the House the ability to impeach statewide elected officials for serious crimes or misconduct in office. If this resolution gets to the House floor and two thirds of House members approve it, then it would be up to senders to decide if Ekstrom should be removed from office. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. One of those senators big questions was how this big of a mistake actually happened. Ekstrom says the state accounting system had been double counting money transferred to colleges and universities which use different accounting systems.